this morning, as it pleased our Creator, our Sustainer, the Almighty Allah one wa ta'ala, we are gathered in this hall, in this historic Ariel House, once the seat of government of northern Nigeria, for the sixth executive committee meeting of the Northern Traditional Rulers Council. Such executive committee meeting, which we hold from time to time as necessary, <coughs> brings together all the chairmen of the 19 Northern States Traditional Rulers Council and FCT for such a meeting. As please the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are once more gathered for the sole purpose of looking at the issues bedeviling our dear northern states. Welcome the Governor of Kaduna State. As I've said, very heavily represented by the Deputy Governor, our own daughter, to this meeting. And we've been expecting other dignitaries who we don't know whether they will be able to make it or not, but we have to continue. Taking into consideration that whatever we have arrived at here, the Deputy Governor, we are confident enough the Deputy Governor will send such messages to all the Northern State Governors at appropriate time. And also, if you check your program, we invited the security chiefs, the IG, the Chief of Defense Staff, DG, SSS, to be with us, to interact with us, because of our concern of the rising insecurity in the North, in particular. We've had such meetings with the Northern governors before, so many times, at Kashmir Ibrahim House, where most of the governors of the Northern states were present at the last government or last administration, the 2015, 2019, 2023 administrations of the governors of the Northern States. We have entered into a new cycle of leadership. Some new governors have come on board. Some are having the second term. And still, we are faced with these insecurity issues. To make matters worse, we are faced with rising level of poverty amongst our people. Lack of the normal, and I mean normal, sources of livelihood by the common man to have even if it's one good meal a day is lacking. There's that lack of such. And I believe Talking of insecurity, talking of rising level of poverty are two issues that we cannot, and I mean we cannot sit, fold our arms, and think everything is okay. I've said it so many times at so many fora that things are not okay in Nigeria, and of course things are not okay in the North. We've seen this rising level of insecurity, and we ask ourselves, like I've done so many times, what are the real issues bringing about such rising cases of insecurity? I don't think it's the issue of new government, because new government is a continuation of the former government in the same part. What really is the problem? And I think that's why one of the reasons we're here to talk to ourselves. We're hoping the security chiefs will be here to brief us, and then we go into closed session and discuss some of these issues. But unfortunately, as of now, only the representative of the DG SSS is here, and we don't know whether they will be able to make it. But like I've said, whatever is the case, we finished our meeting, 
get our facts together, send to every one of them as our own contribution to the amelioration of insecurity and poverty in the North. And we leave the rest to them to implement or otherwise. So we're here to do our own as the fathers of these people that believe so much in us. And I believe we, have, we owe it a duty to the teeny millions of people that live in traditional institutions to bring solutions to the various problems facing them. We will not fail in that. We will do our best. And alhamdulillah, one of these efforts is here this morning of this distinguished council to meet, deliberate on all these issues. A couple of weeks back, maybe about two, three weeks, the coalition of northern groups held a meeting in Abuja. I was there. So were so many governors from the north. So was the chief of defense staff, who happened to be a northerner, born in Sokoto, brought up in Sokoto, and then being a son of the soil of the deputy governor here. He was there. The former, chief, the former head of state, General Bakar, was the chairman of their program. And in my comments, I said, I have not seen a gathering of northern leaders so well brought together. And I made comment that we hope that meeting will bring out solutions to our problems and also how to implement such solutions. Because I have said this so many times, without sounding like a broken record, we never lack solutions to our problems. What we lack is implementation. Because we meet today, we bring out so many beautiful ideas on how to solve our problems. We go back to our various places and go to bed, leaving such solutions here in this conference hall. So how do we implement such things? And that's why I invited, or rather we invited the CNG, the leadership. I told them from, at that meeting, at this forum this morning, we invited them to come and interact with us, the outcome of such meeting in Abuja, and I'm happy to, uh, to see them here, and they are all here. We invited the Area Consultative Forum to be part of us here, to talk to us too, because as elders, so many of them happen to be in politics, they have done a lot for the North, for the country. We invited them too to come and be with us. So it's a program that we believe, at the, uh, at the end of which we will come up with various suggestions to how we resolve our numerous problems in the North. Education is important. So whatever issues you want to bring up here, we must talk about education, must talk about health issues. And of course, the two monsters that have been harassing all of us here, insecurity and poverty. And let's not take it for granted. People are quiet. They are quiet for a reason, because people have been talking to them. We've been talking to them, we have been trying to tell them things would be okay, and they kept on believing. I pray to Almighty Allah, they will, they will not one day wake up to say, look, we don't believe in you anymore. And that will be the biggest problem, because if we can't quieten these people, both, let me use the word spiritually, because we are spiritual fathers here, Diplomatically, we're all diplomats. And of course, with good administrations of the governors, then there will be serious problems. But we don't pray for that. But I think it's good we talk about such things. And let's be very honest with ourselves. Let's be very, very frank to what we are going to tell ourselves here. There's no time to hide things. They have someone said, Rana Wanka, Babo in Chibiko. But number nine, nobody from because he wouldn't understand that. No can we man here go? Good, thank God. So these are issues. We have reached that level, and honestly, we have reached that level. People are being, people are very very agitated. People are hungry. They are angry, but they still believe there are people who can talk to them. They still believe in some of their governors. They still believe in some of their traditional leaders. They still believe in some of their religious leaders. Fortunately, some of us doubled as 
traditional and religious leaders. So we have this onerous task of reaching out to everybody, calm him or her down, assure them things will be okay, continue to pray and pray and pray, and still do something good. Because prayers without work will not bring anything because even during the various famous uh, Sardona era, it's the slogan of Northern State is walk and worship. Not worship and walk, walk and worship. And we are here in this very uh, ground where Sardona lived, ruled, or rather led the North for the number of years Almighty Allah selected for him. So let's walk and let's worship. Let's pray more. Let's try and walk. We must find jobs for our teaming youth that are sitting idle. And I've said it so many times, we're sitting on a cake of gunpowder. Having teaming youth, millions of them without job, without food, we are looking for trouble. But alhamdulillah, we believe in ourselves. We believe in Almighty Allah to bring support to all our problems. We'll keep on pray praying and we'll keep on urging our political leaders whom we believe they will do something better. Because we work with them, there's that communication between us and them, and we always try to reach out to them and guide them aright. Our own, we are as stakeholders, we are only advisors to these political leaders. That's all we can do. But if we are empowered, as strong as the governors are empowered, by the constitution, by the amount of funds they get from the federal and also state revenues, we can also do a lot well. And we can and we are ready to work with the governors. Because we believe in what they are doing, we believe in reaching out to them, we believe in working with them, because we have no other choice. We must work with the governors. And the governors too, if they really want to have peace and stability in the states, they have to work with traditional institutions. So, Excellency, whatever message you have, you take to the Northern governors, because you are a very able person sitting here. And also, the representative of the DGSSS, when it comes to security issues, you know our mind about these things. I would like to welcome all of you here. We are able to come down to Kaduna for this meeting. And I believe at the end of it, we should have very good suggestions to our political leaders, to our security chiefs, that when and if implemented, will have a better North, and at the same time, having a better Nigeria. We welcome you all, and wish you a successful meeting, and safety back to various destinations, as we do leave at the end of this meeting. We thank the Canada kind of State Government for hosting us. We thank the Bauchester State Governor in particular,